Once there was a fine warren on the edge of a wood, overlooking the meadows of a farm. It was big and full of rabbits. Then one day the white blindness came and the rabbits felt sick and died. But a few survived, as they always do. The warren became almost empty. One day the farmer thought, I could increase those rabbits, make them part of my farm their meat, their skins. Why should I bother to keep rabbits in hutches? They'll do very well where they are. He began to shoot all arrow, blendry, combat, stove, owl. He put out food for the rabbits, but not too near the warren. For his purpose they had to become accustomed to going out in the fields and the wood. And then he snared them, not too many, as many as he wanted and not as many as would frighten them all away or destroy the warren. They grew big and strong and healthy, for he saw to it that they had all the best, particularly in winter, and nothing to fear, except the running knot in the hedge gap and the wood path. So they lived as he wanted them to live and all the time there were a few who disappeared. The rabbits became strange in many ways, different from other rabbits. They knew well enough what was happening. But even to themselves they pretended that all was well, for the food was good, they were protected, they had nothing to fear but the one fear, and that struck here and there, never enough at a time to drive them away. They forgot the ways of wild rabbits. They forgot it la rara, for what use had they for tricks and cunning, living in the enemy's water and, and paying his price. They found out of their marvelous arts to take the place of tricks and old stories. They danced in ceremonious greetings. They sang songs like the birds and may shapes on the walls, and though these could help them not at all, yet they passed the time and enabled them to tell themselves that they were splendid fellows, the very flower of rabbitry, cleverer than magpies. They had no cheat rabbit and oh, no, how could they? For a cheat rabbit must be el arera to his warren and keep them from death. And here there was no death but one. And what cheat rabbit could have an answer to that? Instead Fritz sent them strange singers, beautiful and sick like oak apples, like robins pin cushions on the wild rose. And since they could not bear the truth, these singers, who might in some other place have been wise, were squeezed under the terrible white of the warren's secret until they gulped out fine folly, about acquiescence and anything else that could make believe that the rabbit loved the shining wire. But one strict rule they had, oh yes the strictest. No one must ever ask where another rabbit was and anyone who asked where, except in a song or a poem then you asked to be silenced. To say where was bad enough but to speak openly of the wires, that was intolerable. For that they would scratch and kill, 